is advocate Devashish Mitra and you are watching Lions Legal Talk. I have been asked multiple times about wills. So here I am making a video on the topic will for you. A will is a legal document which is a person's final wishes to distribute his properties after his death. It provides specific instruction about what to do, how to do and what are the parameters of distributing his properties after his death. Every person who is competent to contract may make a will, but he must be of sound mind, adult that is he should be above 18 years of age and willing to make a will. A will cannot be made by a minor, he may own lot of property but a will cannot be made by a minor or a person who is insolvent. There can be no doubt that a person can make a will but he can make will only against the property which is owned by him or her. The fundamental rule is that one can only pass on what he has. In the case of Texas right on a property are non-existent, a will about the property made by Texeter must be null and void. For example, I have a property say X flat in X building that I can give by a way, way of will. But I may think of buying a property in some building and at the time of making the will, I was not the owner of the premises. Then in that case, if I give the details of the property, then such will be will be null and void. A person can make will of the following: his real estate property, as I discuss right now, his bank accounts, maybe savings savings account, current account, and whatever the accounts he has, he can make will of the same. He can make will of his investment like share stock or bond. He can make will of his vehicle like car, scooter, etc. He can also make will of his personal heirlooms, property like jewelry, collectible, artwork, etc. Life insurance policies and detrimental accounts. Sometimes a question is raised can a person bequeath joint property? Yes. A person can bequeath his undivided share of any property. When two or more people buy a property, they become joint owners. And if the share is not specified, then if there is two person, it is 50 50, if there is three person, there is 33. 13, 33. That is every co-owner is deemed to have equal share in the property. Now, if a person holds an undivided share in a joint property, he can will only his undivided share of the property. Upon the death of the person, his share does not go or does not pass on to the co-owners, it remains, if it is will, his undivided share go to the person, 
namely the will, or if there is no will, then in undivided share, go to his legal heirs as per the law of succession. There, nowadays, uh, we have been hearing about joint will. Now, what is a joint will? A joint will is a legal document executed by two or more people which merges into individual will into a single combined will and testament. Like normal will, a joint will lets the will maker name who will get the property and assets after their time. But in joint will, there are certain parameters which we will discuss now. Joint will are usually made by husband and wife or married couples. They often said like that, that after one person dies, like if the husband dies, the assets come to the wife and after the wife dies, it goes to the children or maybe vice versa. However, one must keep in mind that a party cannot revoke the joint will alone. For example, the husband and wife jointly made a joint will. The husband cannot revoke the will on his own, nor the wife can revoke the will on his own. If they want to revoke the will, if they want to make a condition, then they have to do it jointly. But in joint will, there are little difficulties. For example, there is a property, like property A made by the husband and wife jointly and the husband passes and the property comes to wife and then it should go to the children as per the joint will. Now here if the wife is in need of money, she can't sell the property because in the joint will it was written that after the death of any of the spouse it will go to the next spouse and then after both of them die the property will go to the children. So in this case what happens? Even if the wife wants to sell the property, she can't. So in joint will, this problem is there. Now will may ek baat there, sunte hum log hai, executor. So what is the role of executor and who is executor? In most cases, the name of the executor is mentioned in the will. Now, who is an executor? The executor is the person who after the death of the testator goes to the court, makes application for grant of probate of the last will and testament. The executor's main duty is to carry out the instruction to manage the affairs of the deceased person, which including filing of probate of the will before the competent court, making payment to the creditors, preparing statement of assets, distributing the assets, etc. Sometimes a question arises as to whether registration of a will is compulsory or whether an unregistered will have same effect like a registered will. One must know and keep it in mind that registration is not compulsory. A unregistered will has same effect, same power like a registered will. But according to me, it is always better to get the will registered because in unregistered will, a question may arise that I am denying the signature of the testator. He has not signed the will. It is a false signature. But those questions cannot be taken out in the case of registered will because when the will is registered, the testator himself has to go before the register of assurance, sign it and all the procedures like commutation etc are taken. So, these are the points 
we must know. So, for real is concerned, that's all for today. Please like our video, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.